In this demo, I'm going to review some of the new features inside uh, Pentaho reporting. So as you notice inside the report designer, you'll see that there's a tabbed interface now so that users can tab through the reports and preview and design on various tabs at a time. So again, I can preview um, and, and design a report on, on various tabs. In addition, you can also do things like um, copy and paste just about any element or data attribute. So if I wanted to reuse this sample query here, I could just simply copy this and then move it to a new report. So instead of actually creating the query, I can just sit here and say paste, and then that re that query is now inside my new inside my new report. So I don't have to redesign a query. I can just start with one that's in an existing report and copy and paste that in. Again, that works with functions as well as parameters, and it always has worked with the things that are in the structure or in the layout. So images, um, elements, labels, and such. Some other things that's new with inside the designer is you know new elements. So we have a barcode element, and you can specify that in a report and hook it up to a field like I've done here. So uh, based on a product code, I am actually you know generating a barcode for each one of them. Some other things that you'll notice inside the designer is that every single style or attribute can be driven from a formula. So what I have here inside the um, defining this rectangle here is I'm actually d dynamically setting its width based on the value that comes back inside the query and I can set that and dynamically control the width of it so whatever's the result of that formula is going to be the value that the report is going to use. Likewise I can do that with fill color so I can control the color You'll notice here on this report when I preview it, there's various colors that appear when I um, when I, when the bar is at a certain threshold. So if I'm below a certain units, that are, the bar in the um, background is going to be red for the on hand column. Some other things you'll notice is that the parameters can control not only um, the query, but they can also control things that happen with inside the report because you're just mapping those things with the open formula um, expression you can map those to the parameter so here I'm actually dynamically changing through a parameter whether or not a value in a property the visible flag uh, will display or hide the that rectangle or bar that we draw for each one of the products So again, all these, just about, just about all the attributes um, within inside the report can be controlled by a formula. Another thing that's new with inside the designer is prompting what we, which we went through in a previous demo. But you can also chain these parameter prompts together. So again, um, based on a product line, I can show you the different products that are in that product line, and then when the user selects it. They get, they can then the, the report will then generate. So again, these are like um, the parameter chaining and the new button types as well. So this is a button type control that we have um, for for the reports for the parameters. Also with this report, this is sh just showing the side by side sub reports. So again, this is so that in a actual sub report, it's not a full band anymore. It, it's a sized element that can be placed anywhere on the report. So here uh, is my sub-report. When I double click on it, I can see my tab of the sub-report that pops up inside the UI. So again, you're no longer having to hunt around for that report, uh, that sub-report. It's with inside the interface already. Some other things that are inside the sub-report is that it actually looks to the um, parent report and pulls out its data sources so you can work directly from there and see them inside the report as well as have its own data source as well with inside a sub report. Spark lines is a new element with inside the designer so again it just gives you a quick trend of, of information so in this 
in this I have a query here and I have some summary data of what the sales were for each year 2003, 2004, and 2005. And what I can do here is feed those values into this um, sparkline chart so that it draws a specific trend for each and every one of the product lines. Some other um, new data source types that we have and just show you how they work is the cattle data source. So I can add a query here just like works sort of like all the other data source um, controls. So I can browse for a kettle file so I'm just going to browse to my desktop and you'll see that I have a KTR file. K uh, I'll use the test one. So this one, this kettle transformation actually is looking at a Excel file and pulling data from an Excel file and I can see all the steps within inside that kettle transformation, and I can pick any one of those and preview it. And so what it's doing, it's running the transformation and then pulling out that data from that Excel file. So here, again, if I had more space, you'd see more of the column names, but here's the data that it's pulling from the Excel file. And I could just select OK, and I could use that as far as, you know, a item inside my report. So here um, I can use that kettle query for my report. Some other things um, within the new with inside the designer is inside the designer is allowing users to set up um, associate actions, HTML actions with inside every single element. So here is the new attributes. Inside these attributes we can essentially um, you know, on that element, associate a class, associate a name to it, an XML ID, append HTML to it. So here I've appended HTML inside here. So I have an input tag, a form tag that's put into the report itself. And also, you have also events that you can, you know, put on an element. So an on, you can assign an on-click event, a, a double-click event, and all these could be just calling a JavaScript um, file. So here's an example of an on-click event actually um, selecting an on, a, uh, a JavaScript file. So here's, um, it's going to execute this delete row um, function. So it's going to remove a node out of the uh, HTML when I click on this. So um, when I run this report, in HTML, you'll notice that one, the form is the checkbox form, input form is inside the report, as well as I could, you know, select on this element and make it disappear. So hide, you know, it's actually, you know, um, modifying the actual HTML table. Again, it's not lost, it's not, it's still there. If I hit refresh, it gets it all back. Again, as I select these values, I have a JavaScript um, function that can collect everything I've selected and then you know push it to something. So right now I'm just an example of pushing it out to a you know just to Google to show that you know we can pass those values to another service. So that's um, some of the sample reports that have the new functionality with inside. Pintao reporting.